Hi, YouTubers. How are you today? I hope everyone is well. Today, I'm going to make an easy fried chicken recipe for you guys. Can you see my wingdings in here? They have salt and pepper already on them, guys. That's all that's in them. And what we're going to do is take and season our flour. I'm going to go in with a little dry mustard into my flour. Dry mustard. I'm going in with garlic powder, onion powder, and lots of chicken seasoning. Okay? Put all of this in our flour today. This is an easy way to fry chicken so that you don't mess up. Okay? So after you get your onion powder, garlic powder, a little dry mustard, and then you want to go in with your chicken seasoning. Heavy on the chicken seasoning. Okay, and you just want to mix all of that into your flour, guys. And the salt and pepper is already on your wings. So you got to mix it up real well. Okay. And this chicken is going to be absolutely delicious. Like grandma used to do it. Okay. Once you mix it up, just go into your flour. Just like that, guys. Make sure you batter them up real good. This is old-fashioned frying chicken here that we're doing today. Just a little old-fashioned with a few great seasonings. Okay, I'm dropping my flour everywhere, guys. I'm gonna just drop that flat, those wings in there. Just like that, okay? You hear that sizzling, guys? I know they're not using the gold metal flour. How many of you are still using it right now? We got a recall on it. And every time I go in Kroger's, it's at the end of my receipt to show us not to use the gold metal flour. So just want to finish these up. Season them up. Flour them up well, guys. Make sure you flour them up really good. And drop them right into your hot grease. Okay, we should be able to get them all in here. Okay, I'm gonna let these fry for about five or six minutes, and then I'm gonna flip them, okay? I'll be right back. After about six, seven minutes, I'm turning them over. I'm going to flip them over. Look how crispy they are. And I'm just going to flip the wings over. Okay. Okay, we're going to let these go for about another seven minutes. And they should be fully cooked, guys, and I'll bring them out. Okay, I'm going to put my net on the top of this here. All right, guys, I just want to put the net on it, and we're going to let it go for about six, seven minutes, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, see how my chicken is looking? I'm going to flip it one more time. I want mine crispy, delicious, and crunchy. These are really almost done, but I don't like how light they are. So I'm gonna keep them down in here now for about another two or three minutes. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna take them out. You guys can see how beautiful they are. Okay, I'll be right back. Let's just leave that in there for about two minutes. All right, guys, I just took my little net off. They're crispier now. So we're gonna take these out, okay? And I'm gonna put them on the paper towel and let them drain. I'm just gonna put them just like that. And what I'm gonna do is probably put a little lemon pepper on the top of them. And that's all it is to getting crispy fried chicken, guys. That's how you get it. You want that to drain and I'll be right back. Okay, there you go. 
All right, guys, let me put this on my thumbnail and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm done and I'm back. Crispy fried chicken wing dings is what we call them here. And I have a little barbecue sauce there for my son. He's going to dip it with that or ranch he'll take. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's how you make easy, quick, one-on-one fried chicken. Season your flour, put you some salt and pepper on your chicken, and voila. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and everyone have an awesome day. Voila! Bye-bye.